him a lad and a very, very good to me, especially when she but he's a bit daft. I'll tell you what, he got money for Christmas and he wanted to get himself a pet. He wanted goldfish. And he went to the shop and the man said, Would you like an aquarium? He said, I don't care what star sign it is. This is my eighth panto. It's my third time doing Aladdin. So, once again, it's Widow Twanky. Doing lots of slapstick that revolves around laundry baskets and washing machines. We have a mangle, which fortunately I don't have to go through, so I'm quite pleased about that. I just get to watch somebody else do it. Whoa! Oh, all wishy-washy's all squishy-squashy. <laughs> there, we better try and put it back through again and see if that helps. Come on, back through. There is a definite worry that when you do things too often, you just settle into it, rather than just think, oh, this is the way we'll do it, and that'll be it. I don't think my widow twankies before have been very enthusiastic. I've always looked like I'm a, a knackered old workhorse that is tired from the laundry, so I think this year there's been a lot more... Uh, a lot more energy gone into it. Certainly in the slap 16, there's an awful lot of running about, which I haven't done before. But interestingly enough, Aladdin was the very first panto that I did as day. And so back to where I started from, pretty much. We're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. Deb! <laughs> Put that in the washing machine, she won't never notice. I think she will. My life was torn like a wind blown sand and the rug was torn when you held my hand. Very important element when it comes to rehearsals, the boots will affect the way you walk, the way you move. And so because I have a couple of dance routines, it's been very important to rehearse with the boots right from the beginning. And I've done a couple of rehearsals without them, it just hasn't felt right. Because it does affect completely the way you, you walk and you, and you move about in general. I only get into character with my boots on. You're my spark makeup is very simple. I have quite an expressive face, so I don't need an awful lot of makeup on for it to be effective. My eyebrows are quite trimmed back for the show, because once the foundation goes on, those are covered up and the eyebrows are drawn over the top. So when I move my eyes, the eyebrows go right up, because my face does move an awful lot. Um, I don't have big lips, because again, if you put too much on, you lose your expression. So just almost like a little heart shape. So they're very simple things but, but they are funny. The wigs that I have are made by a company called Bodyline who make a lot of the professional wigs. They used to make all John Inman's wigs. They're a company that specialises in making hair pieces for shop dummies um, so they're solid. So I have two of those. Uh, usually it gets worn all the way through the first half and one for the walk down. Uh, very easy to maintain but it also looks good. It, it's, it makes it look like a polished product because it is a professional wig. So, having done Panto for, for some time now and having been impressed by Panto, I always think that it's the most important show you can be involved in, which is why it's so important to get it right. Because for most of the people that come to see it, which is obviously largely kids, uh, for them it will be their first taste of live theatre. And if they enjoy it, they'll want to come again. If they have a lousy time, they'll never want to go to the theatre again. It can put them off. I am very poor. Aww. Rubbish! I am so much poorer than it! So it's so important poor. to have energy and enthusiasm. I think those are the two key ingredients to have. Um, as well as you know, having to get involved in audience participation or the ad living that you have to do depending on what happens with the audience. Cranford Good Neighbours! <laughs> now, that sounds like the name for a pub quiz team, are you? You're not, you're just good neighbours. It is going to be hard work, this one tonight. Right, I tell you what, I have been shopping. I'm, I'm going to win before I go off, I'm determined now. It's hard work being a dame because you have to be prepared for all these things that can happen, whereas I think the other characters, to a certain extent, can kind of ignore it and carry on. I like to think that I play it very traditionally. I think my dame is, is genuinely likeable, certainly the audiences seem to 
enjoy the day as, as I put it across. I found that every panto that I've done, everybody that has played my kid so far, is somebody that I've, that I've developed some kind of bond with during rehearsals. And so the, there is this maternal side to it. You do find that you deal with the actors differently. So not just on stage, but you do interact with people differently once you're off stage, having done this with them so long. keep your hands off my son, you, you. We are here to collect our royal Oh, for me, yeah, I thought you were looking for a lady. Uh, for me, pantomime is, is one of the most special shows you can be involved in. Uh, it's very important to, to get kids involved in it, to, to get actors and performers involved in it that are going to do it well. I'm always very, very pleased to be involved in the panto and to see the kids in the audience enjoy it and to get them involved. And it's a fantastic tradition, and it is just uniquely English, and it does need to be preserved. Yeah.